This video includes uh, cases of shoulder posterior dislocations and fracture dislocations to be used for teaching purposes. There's no narration or answers in these videos. It's used for self-assessment or for teaching others. Thank you. Please note the radiology reports uh, will be correct in terms of the history, but in terms of the reporting of the abnormalities may be incorrect. Take note of the no entry sign. Each slide is 15 seconds long. If you've seen obvious abnormalities, by all means, double click through on your uh, screen. If you need a little bit longer, use your pause button. Gerald wakes up with uh, severe pain in the left shoulder with no known history of trauma. Sent home and told the shoulder was normal. Patient represented to the emergency department two weeks later with persistent pain and stiffness within the shoulder. Up the abnormality now. It's two weeks down the line. What are you going to be doing for this patient? In true AO fashion, approach the radiographs with what went well and what could be done better or different next time. Patient presents a year later with uh, wakes with pain in the right shoulder. Note how similar the histories are. What's happening to this patient? is a 32 year old who presents two months following their injury. They pick up stiffness and weakness in the shoulder and get sent for an MRI. These were the initial radiographs. Now four months from injury, patient returns with the MRI showing this abnormality. Four months following the injury, consider ways you may reduce this shoulder and hold it. Here are post-op radiographs one year following surgery. Our next patient is a 74-year-old who wakes confused, slightly pyrexial, and presents with shoulder pain. Here are the axial, sagittal, and coronal CT scans. Characterize the fracture or classify according to near and consider Hertel's Lego brick classification. Radiograph six weeks following surgery. Radiographs at one year. Radiographs at two years, and why was the patient brought back at two years? The CT scan of the chest was done for unrelated injuries five years later, nine years from injury, noticed arthritis on the contralateral side. Our next patient is a 70-year-old who presents with uh, bilateral shoulder pain following a seizure. Axial images at seven days of both shoulders. Have a look at the scanogram as well.
axial images of the left shoulder, the sagittal and coronal images add nothing. And sagittal images of the right shoulder. Post-op images at six weeks of right and left shoulders. Post-op radiographs at two years following surgery. Note the anchor posterior glenoid on the right shoulder. A 44 year old who presents to fracture clinic a few weeks following fixation of proximal humeral fracture. CT scan showing axial images of same patient. No history of trauma or significant change following fixation at local hospital. Intraoperative images, post-op revision fixation. Post-revision fixation images at two years. For a narrated video discussing posterior dislocations and fracture dislocations, follow the links to the Cambridge Orthopedics YouTube channel.